Qatar's foreign minister makes the country's stance on Syria clear, while a British football fan is going to court claiming he was falsely imprisoned in the UAE for wearing a Qatar football jersey. Keep watching to find out why Kayon are urging Qatari football clubs to kick out Puma and spare themselves an own goal. And finally, PSG proves their champions on and off the pitch. Hi, I'm Asha and you're watching The Roundup. The Syrian regime is committing crimes against its people. Those are the words of Qatar's foreign minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani. In an interview with Al Arabi television, the Qatari official said Doha has no plans to normalize ties with Syria after President Bashar al Assad won a fourth term in office last week in an election viewed by many as a farce. Qatar has maintained its position to stand with the people of Syria since 2011 and is engaged in work to end the deadly conflict. Now, in the UK, a British football fan who claims he was falsely imprisoned and tortured for wearing a Qatar football jersey to a 2019 Asian Cup match in the UAE has taken his case to court. The Brit is suing six Emirati officials for false imprisonment and intentional infliction of harm, including psychiatric harm. Ali Issa Ahmed was in the UAE during the Asian Cup in 2019 when the blockade was still imposed on Qatar. At the time, showing sympathy with Qatar was criminalised. Here in Doha, a pro-Palestine anti-normalization group is urging action from football teams. Kayon has called on seven Qatari football teams to cancel their contracts with Puma as part of a campaign to boycott Israel. Puma is the main sponsor of the Israel Football Association, which includes teams in Israel's illegal settlements on occupied Palestinian land. And sticking with football, PSG are set to become the first football team to build a sports club centre at the largest refugee camp in the world. Rohingya refugees in Cox's Bazar in Bangladesh will soon be able to take part in training sessions and tournaments. It's hoped the facility will help young people to find relief from their hardships. The project, which has been in the works for almost two years now, is expected to reach 10,000 refugees. Now, that's all from me today, but if you are looking for more news, you can head over to our website, www.dohanews.co, or you can follow us on all of our social media platforms.